All right, this is a solo MMA ground striking technique workout for experienced practitioners. Um, so basically it's a ground and pound workout, um, or if you are more of a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu stylist or, or um, you know, submission fighting stylist, then you could use your strikes to set up your submissions. Um, but for the most part, you're gonna be doing all striking on the ground, a variety of different positions. In terms of um, equipment, what you need are some MMA gloves. You need a heavy bag that you can lay on the ground, either a freestanding one or a hanging bag that you can take down and lay on the ground. And you need, uh, obviously, floor space, preferably mats. You know, I strongly recommend you use mats for this one. Um, you could use get away with a carpeted floor space, but you're probably gonna get some rug burn and maybe even, you know, slip off the bag and hurt yourself, um, strike the ground. All right, I've done that before and it ain't pretty. So um, I'd use mats if you if you can. Um, in terms of format, you're going to have 12 two-minute rounds with one-minute rest periods. So they're going to be relatively short but intense rounds. And in each one of those rounds, we're going to um, work on a different aspect of ground striking, a different position, most of them. Um, and some of those rounds, we're actually going to be, be doing transitioning between various positions as we strike. So enjoy the workout. Okay, warm-up Tai Chi complex. Feet wide, legs wide, feet pointed forward, back straight, squat down, touch the ground with your fingertips, come up to this position. Exhale on the way down and push out in front of you. Let your fingers drag across the floor, back to this position. Exhale on the way down and push out to the sides. Fingers across the floor. Exhale on the way down and push up to the ceiling. Fingers across the floor. Turn to one side and lunge straight out. Keep your back leg straight and push out. Exhaling on the way down. Back to center. And to the other side. <clears throat> Back to center. Push straight out. And out to the sides. And up to the ceiling. And lunge to one side. Back to the middle, you're done. Okay, this shadow fighting drill is slap out, kick, and stand up. So you're gonna start just by doing a rear slap out, turn to your side, kick, post your foot, post your hand, hand up, and stand up properly while moving backwards. All right, then you're gonna go to the other side. Kick, stand up properly while moving backwards. Then you can do a side slap out. Kick, same thing. Other side, then you can do a front slap out. Back kick. Stand up, etc. All right, so keep rotating. Do slap out, kick, and stand up for the entire time period.
this next drill, you're going to need a heavy bag on the ground. Um, this is ground striking from all top or control positions. All right, so uh, you need something on the ground, either uh, you know, a hanging bag that you put on the ground or a freestanding bag you can lay down. All right, you want to transition from one position to another. So start in the guard, for example. Right? Throw strikes. Go to the knee like stomach. Side mount. Transition to full mount. Etc. You're going to rotate around to different positions, throw strikes from all different ground control positions and top positions. That'll be the drill coming up. Okay, ground striking from all top positions. Start inside the guard. Throw a couple strikes. Stand up. Pass to the knee on stomach. Throw a couple strikes. Go to the scarf hold. With the modified scarf hold. Strikes. Move to side control. Underclasp. Strikes. Overclasp. Strikes. Switch to reverse case of Tommy. Reverse car fold. To the mount. Switch to the north south. Switch to the seated rear mount. Once you're done, you get back up, start over. In the guard. Pass. Knee on the stomach. Scarf fold. Side control. Underclass. Side control. Reverse scarf fold. To the mount. Move to north south position. Back to the rear mount. Okay, this heavy bag drill is full mount striking. So basically you're going to obtain a full mount position and you're going to strike the heavy bag with a variety of different strikes in combination for the entire time period. And you can vary your positioning. You can do a lower mount with a wide base and go to a high mount with an upright posture. All right, so for example, full mount, wide base, heels together, toes together in the back. You got foot punches, all right? You got straight punches, elbows of all types. You go to the high mount, hammer fist, dropping elbows, etc. All right, keep um, rotating through. You can even, to break it up, stand up and stomp the bag, all right? Uh, but all full mount striking for the entire time period.
Okay, this heavy bag drill is side control striking. So you're going to move amongst different variations of side control and throw all different types of strikes on the heavy bag for the entire time period. Knees, elbows, headbutts, punches, kicks even. All right, so you can go to uh, an overclass, knees, a various types, elbows, all right? You can switch and make sure you're switching positions, right? And rotating around to, to and doing both sides, right? You can even stand and stomp the bag if you want to, all right? Um, all side control striking for the rest of the round. Okay, this heavy bag drill is full mount striking. So basically you're gonna obtain a full mount position and you're gonna strike the heavy bag with a variety of different strikes in combination for the entire time period. And you can vary your positioning. You can do a lower mount with a wide base and go to a high mount with an upright posture. All right, so for example, full mount, wide base, heels together, toes together in the back. You got foot punches, all right? You got straight punches, elbows of all types. You go to the high mount, hammer fist, dropping elbows, etc. All right, keep um, rotating through. You can even, to break it up, stand up and stomp the bag, all right? Uh, but all full mount striking for the entire time period.
Okay, this heavy bag drill is side control striking. So you're going to move amongst different variations of side control and throw all different types of strikes on the heavy bag for the entire time period. Knees, elbows, headbutts, punches, kicks even. All right, so you can go to uh, overclass, knees, various types, elbows, all right? You can switch and make sure you're switching positions, right? And rotating around to, to and using both sides. All right, you can even stand and stomp the bag if you want to. All right, um, all side control striking for the rest of the round. This heavy bed drill is knee on stomach position striking. So you're gonna work the knee on stomach position in the dominant side of it, and you're gonna strike the heavy bag with a variety of different types of strikes in combination for the whole time period. The way I like to work this is start in a inside of someone's open guard, pass. Alright, throw a variety of strikes, you can put knees, head butts even, all right? And then when you're done, you can stomp and then turn the starting position, go to the other side, all right, and continue. So all neon stomach striking for the entire time period.
Okay, this heavy bag drill is north-south position striking. So you're on the dominant side of the north-south position. You can work various, you know, different variations and grips for it, but you're gonna be striking the heavy bag for the entire time period. All right, so you can start, for example, in a judo style, throw some knees, right? Move into a, you know, a knee grip style on the head, elbows, punches, etc. All right, you can even stand and stomp. All right, so up to you, but throw a variety of different strikes off in a north-south position the entire round. Right, the heavy bag drill is turtle position striking. So the way you want to run this is, you know, basically you're going to be, you're on the dominant side of the turtle position on top. Um, you're spinning around the bag and throwing a variety of strikes at the bag for your entire time period. The way I like to start this is sprawl on the back, throw strikes, spin. You can go to your mouth if you want, disengage. All right, throw a variety of different types of strikes as if you're on top of the turtle position for the whole time period.
Okay, this heavy bag drill is rear mount striking. So you're going to obtain the, the dominant side of the rear mount position, either the uh, on the knees, on all fours, or on the seated rear mount, uh, or both. And you're gonna throw a variety of strikes from that position, all right, of all types. So these are gonna predominantly gonna be you know, arm strikes, elbows, and punches, and hammer fists. All right, so for example, the way I like to start this is to sprawl initially on the bag, and immediately spin to the rear mount, all right, get your hooks in, and then start firing down strikes. All right, then what you can do is move to the seated rear mat. All right, all right, and then work from here, etc. All right, so all rear mount striking for the entire time period. Okay, rear mount striking. You obtain the rear mount of your opponent, you got your hooks in. You're gonna go with straight punch, hook punch, forward elbow, dropping elbow, hammers. You can, you can switch between seated with your heels in and going to your knees, all right, whenever, whenever you like. So straight punch, hook punch, hammer fist, forward elbow, dropping elbow. Keep going with all those strikes. And also wrap them up a little bit and go from this this position. to the seating rear mount also. Here. Okay, this heavy bag drill is inside the guard striking. So what you're gonna do is envision yourself, you are between your opponent's legs, they have you in their guard, and you're gonna strike from that position, right? All different types of strikes. Um, you can either do this as a ground and pound, you know, type approach, or you can use your strikes to set up a pass, all right? So you can start here, right? You can throw, for example, hook punches, head bumps, elbows, hammer fists, all right? You can use it to set up a pass, all right? And then start over, all right? So all inside the guard striking, you can also do it from a, an open guard, all right? You can throw kicks, all right, off the bag or stomps and try to pass, all right? So, but all starting from inside the guard, striking for the entire time period.
Okay, this next row we got ground striking from the guard. All right, so you need a heavy bag and you're gonna basically stay in the guard position, different variations of the guard position and throw all different strikes for the duration of the, the time period. So start here, come down, start in the close guard. All right, you can shift up to a high guard or a valley tudo guard. So it strikes from here. You can change it up by going and throwing kicks here from an open guard, stand up, and always go back to that guard position for the duration of the round and throw strikes. That's the drill coming up. This heavy bag bill drill is uh, ground striking from all ground positions. So um, you can start, for example, you need a heavy bag laying on the ground. Start, for example, inside the guard, right? You can throw various strikes from this position, right? Then you can get good posture, stand up. So I'm gonna lean on the stomach, throw various strikes, transition to side control, etc. Keep transitioning through all different control positions and other ground positions and striking the bag with various strikes for the entire time period. Coming up.
you've completed the workout, I'd strongly recommend that you do some post-workout stretching. Um, so you can do that, do that either on your own um, with the stretching techniques that you know, or you can use the post-workout stretch complex um, video that we have in our video library um, on the channel. So take a look at that. It's about 10 minutes long. I strongly recommend you do that. Hope you enjoyed the workout. If you found this video useful and you want to see more, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. We upload videos at least once a week. Thanks for watching.